And while you may not have heard of it, it is likely your teenage kids have. We're talking about Snapchat, the social media app at the center of those arrests in Quebec. With 5 million users worldwide every day, it's exploding in popularity, and that's causing considerable controversy. Michael Serapio is taking a closer look and joins us now. Let's start, Michael, with an explanation of Snapchat itself. What is it? Well, as you say, it's increasingly popular. It is a social media app, Nancy. In fact, there are about 350 pictures shared across this application each and every day, which explains just how popular it's becoming. Now, for people at home, and, and I think it's fair to say that if you are young, you know what Snapchat is, but if you're over the age of 20, perhaps not know it so well. Uh, but think of it like Instagram or Facebook, where you can post your photographs online and into cyberspace. The difference here is that with Snapchat, these photographs actually self-destruct. That means that if you are a user, you send someone your photograph, you can add to that photograph a self-destruct time. Your recipient will only get to see it for a few seconds, a few minutes, whatever you decide it will be. Now, uh, this is very popular as well because because it, it also does not leave a trail in cyberspace once it is destroyed. And a lot of young people are drawn to its ephemeral quality because they are young enough to know older people who still to this day regret photographs that they posted on cyberspace 10 years ago. So young enough to bear that in mind. Now, that said, this ephemeral nature of this social media app also creates a false sense of security. And that's what police in Laval are worried is what happened in this case involving those young boys and those young girls. Police say these young girls uh, shared explicit images of, the, of themselves thinking that these images would self-destruct. What they didn't realize were the images that they were sharing with the boys were actually being uh, screen grabbed by the boys or used other uh, apps to actually take a photo of the image before the image self-destructed. Now, that opened up the girls to exploitation and abuse. In fact, we want to tell you that the FBI does warn parents that Snapchat opens up a whole realm of pedophiles accessing these photographs online while they still exist before they self-destruct. It also takes cyberbullying to a whole new level. So, yes, a very popular new app here, but 